What's going on, Movie Ranker? This is Jake Roan, and I have a very special guest with me today. Last time I was here, I did a list of my favorite hip-hop movies, and today, I got one of my favorite hip-hop stars talking about my favorite shark movies and his. Mr. Paige Kennedy in the building. Hey, what's up? Hey. What up, though? Now we got, of course, there's 500 people in the audience behind us, but we told them to all stay silent, hold their applause. So we, so Paige is in, <laughs> Paige is in the brand new movie coming out, new summer blockbuster, The Meg. Tell me about your experience working on The Meg. Uh, my experience working on The Meg was pretty incredible uh, because I got to go out to New Zealand for five months. Uh, and you know, I, I had actually never been out of the country besides Canada. And so that flight was very interesting for me to fly that long. <laughs> but no, it was, it, it was a great time. It was a, um, um, a, a great scenery uh, and being out in the ocean, that was interesting. Having dolphins follow us as we're filming like real all dolphins? day long. Real dolphins. Huh. Real dolphins follow us all day long and 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 trans you know uh, going from from like small little boats and speed boats to the big ships and things that we would be on. So it was, I mean it was great. Now did you see any real sharks while you were there? Did I see any real sharks? I did not see real sharks. The only thing we saw were jellyfish in the water, and we saw the dolphins. Okay, and no I'm glad hobbits. I didn't see any real sharks because <laughs> I am afraid of sharks, as I'm sure everyone is. Well, actually, people are not afraid of sharks. Jason went and he went somewhere else and actually deep sea dived with sharks, like just straight out, like with no, I mean, he had this, underwater gear, but he actually went down with the sharks and they fed the sharks around him. I'm talking about big bull sharks. That sounds a little set up-ish. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, hey, maybe he's a method actor or something. I don't know, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have done that. I've made, a, I've made a vow that no matter what happens in my life at any level of success, free food will always be as exciting to me. Hot provided meals, three best words in the English language in consecutive right. orders. I, so, same. I, I love free food as well. Had to mention that as well. <laughs> food in New Zealand so it must be pretty good, right? Food in New Zealand. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just like food, period. So I like food everywhere. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of picky, though. As, as much as I love food so much, I just love what I love, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of the stuff was a little different, but uh, it was good. It was good there. I enjoyed the craft services and the catering. <sighs> craft services, my favorite. <laughs> I, I, a lot of people hold Steve Jobs in very high regard as the kind of the visionary of our time. I think the person that invented the idea to combine Dorito shells with tacos ah, is the you actual, love that? You love the that actual mixture? Steve Jobs cape wearing <laughs> superhero. All right, let me ask you, you like the Doritos with tacos or the Roscoe chicken and waffles. <laughs> Why did I say that like ludicrous? Roscoe's chicken and waffles. <laughs> I want to know which one you want to hear. <laughs> I don't know why I just started talking like ludicrous or something. Luda. Um, so at Roscoe's, I only order one thing every time. It's the Gene Jones omelet. It's the only omelet they have. It's the perfect, whatever chemical Neil deGrasse Tyson could break down, whatever that that exact temperature that cheese needs to be at consistent <laughs> to make that consistency. And Roscoe's is, to say on point would be to understate what they actually, the fine work they do in that establishment. Yeah, I mean, I could only eat there like twice a year because otherwise I have a heart attack, but yes. I love it that the twice a year is like Christmas twice. We love you, Roscoe's. <laughs> Man, so let's get into some shark movies. I All love right. shark movies. Who doesn't I love, love shark, shark movies? movies. And I don't really swim too far on the ocean, so I don't have to worry about it. I watch this and then I, then I go out there and have any kind of nightmares. And if I do, then I go out in the ocean and I pee myself. It's in the ocean, so nobody knows. <laughs> Life's little bonuses. Salty! You know, my son, he, my son won't even, he won't even get in the water. Like, uh, he, won't, he won't go to the beach, he will not get in the water. 
because sharks are his biggest fear of anything. I don't even know if he's going to come see the movie. Because <laughs> he's going to watch the whole thing with his eyes like peeking out his fingers. like, And he's okay. an adult. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, just for for the watchers out there, the movie is so good. you got to come see the movie despite your fears. Right. Um, it's it the movie is 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 great. Um, I actually I actually have a, a song on my new album that's coming out. Uh, same page, different story. It's called the Audition Part Two, The Meg, and I and I kind of talk about specifically how I got the role because um, it it wasn't easy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I I talk about that that process on that song. Okay, okay. Do you have any songs on the soundtrack? No, I don't even know if we have a soundtrack. Do we? I, I don't know. There aren't soundtracks, soundtracks aren't really are not much really of a thing, thing these days, anymore. But I love when they are, I know, right? Like I, I don't think I was having a conversation with my friend about this, uh, like maybe a week ago or something. That soundtracks used to be like a big thing in the '90s, but now only like big, like like Black Panther like has a mm-hmm. soundtrack or yeah. like. You know, but I don't think they do soundtracks like that uh, anymore. But if there was, I definitely would have been on there. Just make sure we on the same page. I know the name, actor slash rapper, social media takeout, discharge, hot shit, no gonorrhea breakout. I would like to think. Okay, probably not. I wouldn't have been on there, but that's okay. I'll start off the shark list with, get ready for it, Jaws 3, Three. a.k.a. Jaws 3D before they had any business really doing 3D <laughs> movies. Yo, that falls under kind of the like whack. There's a whack good spectrum that in movies that I always try to tell people. A movie can be bad, 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 and then at a point it gets bad to where it's good. So the 3D was terrible. It was one of the only movies where <laughs> the technology and the special effects were worse in part three than they were years back in part one. Wow. So I love the digression. It was a baby, <laughs> the, the plot was a baby shark that they were trying to keep in captivity. And then the mama shark, Jurassic Park style, was like, nah, son. And she had to come get in that ass a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Jaws 3. Definitely, I always remember asking, why is that shark made of clay or whatever that thing is? <laughs> what is that? So, Jaws 3 is going to take that spot. Jaws 3 takes that spot, okay. I'm going to then go to 47 meters down oh. because the ending was a good twist. No spoilers. Yeah. Moving right along, I'm going to go back to So Bad It's Good, Sharknado 3. Which takes That's place. number three? Number three, baby. Oh. So wait, right? Hold on, because I did Jaws 3, 47 meters down. Sharknado 3, starring... Oh, hold on. I gotta get... I'm bringing out... I'm cheating a little bit. What are you What are you dollars. looking at? Uh, I am bringing the lifeline of all my favorite 90s stars. Why do I like Sharknado 3? Because it combines favorite time of my life, the 80s and 90s. And I got all my friends from television, including... Here it comes. Lorenzo Lamas... Bill Ingvall, wow. Lou Ferrino. Lou, Lou who? Lou Ferrino. Like the, the Hulk? Hulk? Yeah, Lou the Hulk Ferrino. is in Sharknado 3. Ah! Now, Sharknado 3, we can all acknowledge, would have been better if he actually turned into the Hulk. Didn't happen, <laughs> we were all waiting. Neo, Chris Jericho, Mark McGrath, Ann Coulter. I can't remember, but I, I, I'm going to be honest, I hope she got eaten. Mm. Um, man, who? Uh, Mark Cuban, Bo Derek, The Hoff, Michael Winslow. The sound effects wow. man from Police Academy, all-time great sound effects. Wow. I mean, Ian Ziering, Tara Reid, Malcolm in the Middle, Frankie Muniz. He looks heroic, but he's kind of got a negative attitude. You on this, you ugly bastard. 